good morning, Spin Enthusiasts. So I've been getting asked a lot, what on earth is the show Freedom actually about? Because it doesn't really seem like it has a storyline, which is like normally, you know, we have some sort of theme or storyline that kind of makes sense. And this year we just don't have a, a very clear cut one. Like a lot of things kind of mesh together. So I'm gonna kind of tell you about that right now. So Freedom, basically what we did was we started with the fact that it's our 10 year anniversary. So we've been a competition team for 10 years. The company is older than that, but we've been a competition team for 10 years. We started in 2011 and our very first show was called Prisoner. So we wanted to do something to kind of symbolize all of the past 10 years, all of the changes we've gone through, all of the growth that we've had as a team. And so we thought the best way to do that is to go back and look at year one and just kind of take our, our sort of theme from that, like basically take that and see where we go with it. And what we decided to do was to do basically the opposite. So year one was prisoner. If you guys have been keeping up with all of our historical posts over the, over the last several weeks. And so this year is freedom, which is the opposite of prisoner. Our team color is teal. Like that's just our, you know, it's always been our color. Our very first year we had camp shirts that were teal. When the first year we were a company, we had camp shirts that were teal. Then our logo had teal and like everything became teal. A lot of people ask me if teal is my favorite color. It's not, like I don't dislike it. I think it's beautiful, but it's not my favorite color. It's just kind of like, that's not why I chose teal. I literally was looking at my closet one day and I said, okay, what shirt do I not have enough color of? And because that was like way back in when I was in college and I actually had time to like be in my apartment and put all my shirts in rainbow order because who doesn't do that when you're that young, right? I don't have time to do that anymore, but I used to. And I looked and I was like, I don't have a single teal shirt in here. I have basically every other color in the entire rainbow and I don't have teal. So teal is our color. So we wanted to do stuff that had to do with teal. Plus teal is kind of basically the opposite of orange on the, on the color wheel. And orange was the color of our prisoner show. We wore orange shirts, we had orange closer flags, so on and so on. So we've got the teal in there symbolizing spectronics. We've got that sort of stuff. We originally with the floor wanted to go with a design that basically took all the lyrics of the song Freedom by George Michael and made it like basically showed something from all the lyrics and one of the lyrics was um, uh, take back your picture in the frame and so a lot of the stuff was like okay picture frame um, and then there's like a lyric sometimes the clothes don't make the man we would have like a pile of clothes have like umbrella like all these other things that kind of don't they're kind of like were the song in the floor tarp. Well, that's expensive. <laughs> um, plus you have to design like really big art and so on and so forth. So we decided to look and see what we could find that was used that we could order or we could purchase from somebody. So we ended up finding this really awesome floor tarp that was just beautiful. And it was like all of these photographs of what freedom looks like through different decades. And that's kind of what we ran with. And that actually was a way that um, Adam, our one of our new staff members this year, he's the one who came up with the idea of looking at it like that. We, you know, we really liked the floor. We knew that it would go with the color scheme really well. We liked the idea of having all these pictures and stuff, but it does become kind of difficult to explain because it's a long story about how we arrived at the idea that photographs on the floor would be an awesome idea. And that's kind of, I think, the best way to explain it is we're showing you what freedom looks like through different decades in the United States. So anyway, there's definitely more, but these episodes can only be five minutes. So I guess I will catch you guys tomorrow with the rest of it. Bye.